Hello everybody, it is me, Sacred G, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching, not teaching, but uh, giving you guys some tips, hopefully to inspire you to roleplay in Starfield. So, here we go. These are my five, not five, but these are my things that I do to help me roleplay as pretty much any character that I make in Starfield. So the first thing is obvious, you make your character. In the process or of making your character, you should think of what is what exactly your character looks like or an idea um and also what they are going to do. Now, if this is your first time playing, I would just recommend either making yourself or <clears throat> you could also try making somebody else and role play that way. I mean, that would be more fun and get a feel for the game. But write out your character and especially if this is your first time or second time through the game and you want to make a new character to try out the traits and stuff like that in the other backgrounds, um, write out what your character, why your character is in that background and just kind of think, okay, does this make sense? And just kind of like think of a way and reason why your character is in that particular background. That's what I do. <clears throat> the second thing I'd actually recommend, not rec well, recommend for you guys to do is interact with the world. Have your character sit down. If your character likes to drink whiskey and, you know, do Aurora, go sit down at the bar um, and actually drink your drinks and all that stuff. Like, interact, have your character interact with the world, whether that be sitting, I also have my characters sleep for eight hours or depending if I feel like the character's like gonna push it and sleep for only five hours and carry on their day, um, and that sort of stuff. Like just interact with the world in terms of like what the player can interact with, not characters, we're not getting into that quite yet. Sitting down, if your character is loves bars, which there's dialogue for you saying that, you know, Ooh, a bar in this area sounds like home or something like that. Have them actually sit down at the bar and drink. Just as simple as that. All right, for my third tip, not, well, tip, I guess we could call this. Have your, this is going to sound silly. Have your character walk in areas that either make sense for you to walk in, whether that be your ship, whether that be, you know, a certain, or like two, five feet from the store or shop you're going to. I, I, I even have like, my characters and shit walk from one area to the next. I know that may sound boring, but it really helps with the immersion. This, I do this in Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas and even Fallout 4 as well um, because it adds that sense of immersion. Like, I don't, I think it just looks weird to me um, if you're running all the time. I do it sometimes if I'm trying to book and finish a quest line. I do tend to have the character jog, but I do have them walk when I'm actually out and about with no actual important tasks for my character to do. And I have them look around. I have the character, like, I sync myself with the character. We're getting all spiritual now. No, just joking. But I have, but like, my character, like, I imagine my character taking in the environment, if that makes sense. Like, that's why I would recommend walking around and also having your character look around the world check things out, talk to people. Yeah, so it may sound silly and boring to you, but it is sure immersive to me, so let's move on. Another thing that you could have your character do is have specific weapon types. If your character likes using weapons specifically with suppressors, rifles, pistols, have them use those things. For me, what I like to do is I like to have a character have a main weapon, a weapon they prefer to use, which for one of my characters is a rifle, because she's a distance character. And I have them also have a second favorite quotes there, but a second weapon as an option, or sometimes even three. Like my assassin character that I just mentioned, uh, she uses pistols, a rifle, and a knife for stealth reasons. And that's it. No laser weapons. Uh, my, I'm writing my character just despises laser weapons, doesn't understand them, would rather go old school with bullets. You know, just like... Have them even, like, not just weapons, like, you can have them have, like, preferences, like, do they like whiskey? Do they even like alcohol? Do they like drinking milk? Or do they only drink orange juice? Do they have a huge factuation with orange juices? Have your character have some personality a little bit, like, do they, like I said, do they like using rifles? Or do they just fucking despise rifles and like it up close? Or hell, they don't even like weapons, so they could just go, do they like going up to people and giving them the knuckle to the fist? Or, 
knuckle to knuckles to the face. It's pretty impressive. Like I know it's not like not impressive, but it it's pretty neat how many varieties in this game there are for your character to do. Like just have them have a personality. Like have them have preferences. Again, do they like drinking milk or do they prefer water? Also. Factions play a big part in role-playing, and if your character, let's say, hates the law, but has good intentions, let's say, they will not be joining the Freestar Collective in terms of factions, and also the UC, or the United Colonies. Probably be more aligned to the out the outlawish type, like Ryujin, and also the Crimson Fleet, and I really do think that, at least to me, that now this is, you could play the game however you want. But to me, I think factions help, like, define your character to an extent. If, like I said, you know, if, if they are, you could say they were, they were militant raised, but weren't really into the military until they were offered a position by the Vanguard to join the Air, or the Navy and help out in that way and have, like, a character flip or whatever. Like, factions play a big role in the type of character that you want to make. So, factions do play a big role, so choose your factions wisely, so you don't break immersion. This one I'm just gonna add for fun, and that is like, what are your character's dis dislikes? What makes them tick? What makes them be like, alright, I'm gonna kill this type outright, no matter what. I've had, for an example, to understand what I'm saying, I have a character um, who hates gangs, and this is my Beast Hunter character, he hates gangs, and no matter what, he will kill gangs on the, on the spot because he's had bad experiences with gangs. Um, and to just, like, have them have things that make them tick, like even certain dialogue cues. You don't like being talked to in a certain way, so if you're, let's say, in the Crimson Fleet, you're nothing but an asshole. But outside of that, you're a nice person. Um, like, give them ticks. I think that's quite fun, actually. Just wanted to include that. There are plenty of things that you can do within the realm and the universe of Starfield. You can literally be a ship Uber driver. Uh, literally, you can transport people, so you can literally have a character specifically for that, or be a long hauler or a tr space trucker who hauls goods to other planets. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do in this game. Like, you can be a beast hunter turned bounty hunter. You could be a... Uh, <clears throat> oh man, what is it? You could be a gangster that turned militant. You could you could be anything that you want within the game's realm. I'm not saying you could be like an alien or anything like that, unfortunately. But within the game's universe, you can pretty much do and be whatever you want. Do you want to be a character who literally waits for ships to land on planets and then goes and steals them to sell them? That's interesting, you know, and not only that, a little fun character I made was a serial killer character, not like an outright kill everything type of character, because to me those are boring. And I literally, and, and this disturbs me a little bit, but uh, I have him killing people in space. Like he doesn't, and he wipes out outposts when he feels like it. Um, and, he, and he's fooling Constellation and all this stuff just for status, and he's going to Mara. Mara. <laughs> Mary Sarah Morgan. So he can keep that normal life sort of thing. I also have, um, what is it, kid stuff? Uh, the trait that has your parents alive, and you could visit them, and they give you actually some cool stuff. But I have him be a complete asshole to them every time he sees them, and he, I always dismiss the companions so they don't know that side of them, in a sense. So, I mean... You can do whatever the fuck you want in this game. I, you know, the things I mentioned, that's all up to you. I'm just giving you guys maybe some helpful tips to make your experience more fun. And maybe for new character ideas, if you're kind of running or having character writer's block. So that's me, Sacred G. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Stay safe out there in space. And also, as a word from me to you, Merry Late Christmas. Do have a Christmas video planned. I do, and it was late. I just had a lot going on on my mind. I was too busy playing Starfield, <laughs> to be honest, and I do apologize, but I do have a video we made on Christmas Eve morning. I think I would, yeah, Christmas Eve morning. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace the fuck out. And let me, tell me your characters down below. Maybe you could give me some ideas. You know, I love hearing other people's characters, to be honest. So 
Leave those down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace the fuck out.